Hello fellow artists, and welcome to Draw Fusion, the game where several artists fuse their ideas into one to create one crazy character design. Here's how the game works. Each artist will spin a wheel to randomly decide what specific aspect of a character design they'll get to choose. Once each artist has decided on what they will choose for their part of the character design, all of their ideas will be fused into one single character design prompt. They will all then use this prompt to design a character. Once all the designs are complete, they will reveal their wacky creations. Without further ado, let's meet the artists participating in today's video. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am Jack Pagan Art or JP Art on YouTube. Um, I started doing a lot of stuff with just my personal art progress, but a lot of my new content on YouTube is more so about overanalyzing other people's art, like video games specifically. Hey, I'm Third PHP. Uh, you can find me on social media. You know, Third PHP. I do art. I work on Voice Me. I also do God Game, the web comic. And yeah. My name is Sumnum Artist. I draw anime girls and I teach people how to draw anime girls. Now that you're familiar with the artist, let's get started on making the prompt. First up is JP's spin. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Oh. The hobby, that's what you get to right, decide. I got the. Yeah, I wanted that one. That's perfect. Oh, you get oh, gonna be so hard. the species. Ooh. An interesting, interesting <laughs> one. I get power, that's the best one I get. Um, I decided to pick Yordles from League of Legends. Because I, I didn't want to do just a regular human, because, you know, I really want to, like, challenge the people here. There could be some cute ideas that we could do with this, so I'm going to say photography, I think. I'm going to give this character lightning magic. No reason in particular, I just think it's cool. It will be a futuristic gauntlet, you know, like a vice gauntlet from Arcane. Okay, you guys ready to hear the final wacky prompt? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. This character is a Yordle from League of Legends, the species, who has an interest <laughs> oh. in photography. They arm themselves <laughs> with sci-fi gauntlets as their weapon of choice and have the mythical control over lightning magic. Oh my oh, god, that yeah. sounds crazy. <laughs> it's, it's a yeah. very wacky thing. That's crazy, I'm excited to start drawing that. <laughs> Yordle with Vice Gauntlet, that's sick. Okay, so first of all, I have to apologize to any League of Legends fans out there because I had never heard of a Yordle before this, so I hope this is at least somewhat accurate. On Google Images, I saw a lot of people drawing them with like really thick thighs, so I was like, hell yeah, I can get down with that. And I also thought they looked a bit like a furry version of Shantae. You can see some Shantae inspiration, like with the ears and the colors that I went with and the hairstyle and stuff like that. Though I do think in hindsight, I probably made her too tall compared to the original designs of these things. They are supposed to be very small, so maybe a smaller body and a bigger head would have looked more like an actual Yordle, but I think this is in line with how a lot of fan art of them seems to look. Immediately when it was revealed she'd have an interest in photography and lightning powers, I thought it would make sense to have these two connected and have the lightning power somehow tied to the flash in her camera. And then from there adding the sci-fi gauntlets also kind of makes sense. So she's using the gauntlets to extract electricity from the camera causing the flash to light up or something like that. With this I could also create a really strong light source in the center which also allowed for a clear focal point. So I tried to base my entire process around that point and really bring your eye to uh, that key area. I think the way you've got the camera floating and the hair reacting really helps create a strong sense of energy coming from the camera. And then her shirt's kind of flying up a bit so you can see the midriff as well, so that's pretty cool. Since the gauntlets were a really important part of her design, I wanted to make sure they were also really big and a strong part of the silhouette. I kept resizing them to be bigger and bigger and I think they look pretty good like this. I also made the fingers really blocky and chunky to add to that kind of sci-fi look so they look more mechanical. I didn't mean to make her look so evil, but I guess it works. The evil smile was kind of unintentional, but I just kind of rolled with it because I thought it worked really well. And then when you've got the facelit from the bottom like that, it kind of just implies this evil feeling by default, so I figured I may as well stick with it. Bro, oh my so goodness. Already. That's you, amazing. You were talking about the silhouette. Think... You pulled off such an incredible silhouette with this character design. Yeah, I think the big hands uh, work quite well. I don't know if she is a bit too tall to be a Yordle. <laughs> no, that looks I perfect, amazing. actually. I also love how she's using the lightning abilities to charge the camera. That's great. Yes, yeah, that's like, bro. That's, that's, <laughs> that's really clever. I, I love that. Yeah, I love the hair too. She's got that kind of Shantae hair, but it's lightning at the same time. You made her way too hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, okay. 
<laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Great job. But yeah, yeah overall, that's, that's an that's awesome amazing. character design. Awesome, thanks. Okay, this OCM drawing doesn't have a name, but is the type of character who loves to explore and venture in the wild alone. He's also extroverted and his job is to be some type of a journalist or a vlogger or even a streamer. That's why I gave him a robot company named Canon. And Canon has a flashlight and a mic on them to show that my OC is being professional with this hobby slash job. The battery on Canon is basically being charged by my OC's gauntlet which create and manipulate lightning. The prompt said that the character must have a, a control over lightning magic but I decided to make his gauntlet control lightning instead of him controlling it because that would just make him too OP in my opinion. Moving on to my OC's appearance, I used Tristana from League of Legends as a reference to design my OC's face and hair a bit and also his body shape but I made, I made him mailer. Um, I also gave him a hat and a scarf to protect him from the cold in the wild since he loves to go out mostly during the night. He also owns a personal camera. He loves taking pictures of animals, humans, and types of creatures basically. But his main goal is to find the rarest creature on the planet and he wants to be the most famous photographer vlogger in the in the world. Uh, yeah, he loves clout and enjoys getting attention from everyone. His gauntlet is made by a company named DF2, acronym name for Draw Fusion 2, and he painted his ga gauntlet red to match it uh, with his aggressive, active, and fun energy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh my goodness. Wow, dude. <laughs> This is that incredible. Is so good. <laughs> Thank you. We had like we had the same idea about the like the camera charging through uh, with his electricity. Yeah. But uh, I used the battery instead. So I really Dude, love I his going nuts. I love his posing and his expression and stuff. It <laughs> just looks yeah. absolutely amazing. Having the camera be like a character as well. Oh yeah, That's yeah, such yeah, a oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just I gonna say the little robot camera companion. <laughs> such a great idea. Yeah. Also, I love the little reference to Draw Fusion too in his gauntlet. Yeah, <laughs> it's I great. wanted to make it bigger, but yeah, thank you. I was actually hesitating like to redo this one. No, dude, yeah. this is yeah. sick. This this one's really amazing. This also capt I would it also captures it. the prompt like perfectly. Like you got everything in there. You've incorporated it really well. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> This prompt was a very difficult one in my opinion because I couldn't think of a way to combine photography and the character showing off their lightning powers together, and I really only wanted one illustration to tell the character's story instead of making a whole character sheet. I found a pretty clever way of doing it though. So my character is a Yordle who explores ruins of deserts, and they have a GoPro looking thing on their head to show that they love recording their journey. They also use it to take pictures of all the artifacts they come across, which is where their photography hobby comes in. One day she finds a pair of stone gauntlets that just permanently attach to her, and it lets her manipulate lightning. My character has a lot of inspiration from Reach from Valorant because I love the way his abilities look, so I copied I copied a lot of like the orange lightning effects from him, especially from his ult. The character's outfit is based on stereotypical desert outfits you would find in any RPG, and her colors are based on the Grand Canyon, because, I mean, the Grand Canyon looks like a desert. Um, it was really difficult to think about what kind of hairstyle I should have given her because hairstyles are a huge thing for personality and Yordle's heads are kind of oval so I feel like it made it a little harder to find a compatible hairstyle. And I also needed something with side hairs because I have no idea how the Yordle's ears connect to their head. Um, but I ended up just giving her short hair to like show strength or something and then I gave her side hairs because once again I, I have no idea how the ears connect to their heads. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Yo, <laughs> Damn, dude, <laughs> bro, everyone, everyone, look, yeah, the GoPro though. <laughs> <laughs> I love the GoPro yeah. idea. Yeah, I great. thought it was a pretty big stretch, but I thought it was kind of <laughs> a clever yeah. way of going about it. No, Man, I, I love the idea of Bridge, and you, you made it, you made her look like uh, a Yordle Bridge. That looks. Oh so yeah, cool. I can really <laughs> see the the Bridge aspect. In it. It's awesome. I love That's the crazy. rendering and the colors. Thank you. Yeah. I was really worried that it wasn't that impressive. <laughs> no, it's oh. awesome. Especially the lightning. Oh my god, that looks cool. The it's eyes, really good. eyes are well, are very well rendered.
Okay, I think we ended up making a pretty cool prompt for this design. Uh, at first, I really didn't know how I was gonna combine all of these things into one, you know, comprehensible character design, but I think I ended up getting it in the end. Okay, so first, I obviously had to find out what a Yordle was, you know, since that is the race of the character I was designing. Now, from what I could gather, Yordles seem to be these little gremlin-like anthropomorphic things. Uh, so I knew that if I made a little guy with some kind of anthropomorphic trait, it would probably pass as a Yordle. Uh, so that's exactly what I ended up doing. So I made this little guy, some kind of tiger cat themed Yordle, just because I thought that would be cool. So yeah, uh, so that's the Yordle aspect of the character. Now this character is also a photographer, so I really wanted to represent that uh, kind of in the clothes they wore. So I ended up dressing him like an old timey kind of photographer. So I gave him like a little bow tie, a beret, you know, suspenders, you know, all that kind of junk. So I think that ended up making him, you know, look like a photographer. Um, with the gauntlets aspect of the design, I also ended up combining the photography aspect with this. So I gave him these futuristic, you know, golden and red kind of gauntlets. And, you know, I also uh, made it so these gauntlets contain a hidden camera. So that's a really interesting concept I ended up coming up with. Uh, I think this character would probably, like, use these cameras in his gauntlets to take photos of his victims, you know, before he knocked them out or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really weird concept. I think it's pretty, pretty fun, though. So with the lightning magic aspect of his character design, uh, I thought it would be really cool if he used that lightning magic magic to like charge up his gauntlets so he could shock his victims when he punched them. Uh, so I represented this in the gauntlets by giving uh, them like these blue crystals that the lightning would come out of and these blue rims around the wrist. I also gave him blue eyes to kind of represent that lightning magic as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the character design. Let's see how it turned out. God, he looks so cute. Nice. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> I love it, dude. It's so amazing and cute. Thank you. The you gauntlet. Know, gauntlet is such a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, also, I, I named him Flashbang uh, because what he does <laughs> is you get, you get hit by the flash of his camera and then the bang of his fist. That's his like attack strategy. Oh, that's so yeah. creative. Oh that's creative. You guys are so like it's amazing how you guys are able to incorporate the camera with the lightning. That was like the biggest part for me. That was so hard, and you guys did it like really amazingly. Mm. My favorite part about these is like figuring out creative ways to combine all these prompts like in some com comprehensive way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I, I wouldn't have, I would have never thought of uh, combining the gauntlet with the camera. So just seeing the camera coming out of the gauntlet it just surprises me. <laughs> I think like all of us made such incredible designs on this freaking wacky prompt yeah. we ended yeah, up we, making. I love seeing your guys, like all your guys' art. It's just so wonderful seeing like <laughs> us all do the yes. same thing but differently. I love how almost everyone, uh, your dolls uh, design have like the, the same energy. Skynix is just this cute little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. He's so cute. This was fun. This was, this was really fun. I didn't think yeah. I'd have this much fun, honestly. <laughs> Well, those were certainly some epic character designs we ended up making. Do you guys have a favorite? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and also make sure to check out all the awesome artists that participated in today's collab. I'll make sure to leave links to all of their stuff in the description down below. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye!